Hi friends, Amanda here. Welcome to the Unseen Hands Collective. I'm here with a message from Cancer for us all in Cancer season. Happy solstice. So the image that's coming to me when I'm tuning into Cancer energy and what Cancer energy has to offer us this season is this is kind of cool actually. So you know the Cancer glyph, this symbol um, I saw that cancer symbol beginning to turn and churn and I saw it almost as two hands grabbing like a compost barrel and turning it, shaking it, shaking up the leaves and the refuse and, and the rubbish inside to provide it more oxygen and to hasten the process. And I kind of went down a rabbit hole of um, watching time-lapse videos of decomposition processes. And I noticed how most of that heat and the chemistry and maybe alchemy that is necessary for that decomposition process happens from the inside out. And it takes a little while before we start to see the results of decomposition externally. This is about to maybe get a little bit graphic because I'm talking about organic matter decomposing. But if you think about um, like a body decomposing from the inside, there's all of these chemical processes that are happening on the micro level on the inside and you only really see large external evidence of decomposition after those internal processes have happened for a long time. I think I maybe wrote this down a little more eloquently. I said, deconstruction is a slow, small process. It's inside out. Big changes can only be seen on the outside after significant microbial activity has eaten away, transformed the inside. Like I'm imagining all of the microbial activity that it would take for something on the outside to finally <sighs> collapse and then go to the next stage of decomposition and then break down even further. The next stage of decomposition and break down even further. Okay, so we're talking about a process here that is mainly inside out a process of letting go, a process of transforming from an old way of being into something as yet unknown. Because when organic matter is decomposing, it's, it's decomposing into humus, you know, it's into soil, into just the basic nutrients needed to grow something new. We don't know what that something new is yet. Interesting message for us. And if you think about the moment of like turning um, a compost bin or like, what do they call it? A tumbler, compost tumbler. The moment of tumbling it every month or so adds oxygen to the process and oxygenates all of that material that's been otherwise pretty stagnant, like stagnantly sitting, compressed, heavy on top of one another, decomposing, decomposing, decomposing. Now, if you were to just keep it there, allow it to just sit and stagnantly decompose, it's gonna take three times longer, I think I read, than if you tumble it, shake it up a little bit. So Cancer, this the energy that Cancer season is offering us is a moment to shake things out, a moment to add oxygen to this process and maybe help speed it along a little bit. What else did I write about this? Okay. If you are able to open the insides up, okay, so if the decomp decomposition process is mainly happening on the internal level, if you're able to open it up, air it out, expose that hot, rotting inside to oxygen, the process takes significantly less time. Shake it out, stir it up, get it up and off the ground for a while. I like this because check out your, the cards for us that Cancer's bringing forward.
Page of Cups, Six of Discs, Knight of Discs. These are showing up for me as heavy, slow energies, which really feels like that process of decomposition, that internal process. Also notice how like there's a heavy emotional energy present in this page of cups. There's just, just like a downturned head. There's a drawing down. There's a bit of an emotional weight. That emotional weight is also showing up in the six of discs, which I don't often see in that card. So there's something significant happening here where the two of them are looking over here and check that tiger out. Also heavy, heavily weighted. There's something a bit emotionally dense about this moment here in cancer season. Heavy, heavy, heavier. It's sitting. You know, the, the paw of the tiger is just sort of placed in this still water Nothing much is in motion here. Everything is just sort of like watching and waiting and almost like melancholically looking. Waiting for something to churn, waiting for this process to just finish already. It feels like my energy just feels drawn in, a bit exhausted, like just depressive, tired unmotivated, waiting. And then this other card that came out here is the 10 of wands, which is really speaking to me. What did I write? Get it up and off the ground for a while. You know, I'm imagining like a compost pile, like you just shovel a bunch of stuff onto a pile on the ground and that how long that process would take versus getting it up and into that tumbler where it's up and off the ground. Maybe there's some holes to get some oxygen flow happening. Get it up off the ground for a while. This feels very much like a heap sitting on the ground. And then it's almost as if the 10 of wands comes up and says, hey, get it up off the ground for a while because we've got this horse flying through the air up above the clouds. Get it up off the ground for a while. I also love this too because the 10 of wands talks about relieving yourself of heaviness. And so if I'm feeling all of this energy of emotional heaviness, maybe cancer season, Cancer season is offering us the chance to clearly sit in our feelings, to clearly sit in the weight of the processes of transformation, especially emotional transformation that we've been going through from the inside out. Remember, Cancer is all about what is happening internally. You know, if you think about that crab, the external shell is incredibly different from those soft, mushy insides. This is bringing us to the soft, mushy insides and that process of um, transformation that is slow and it happens from the inside. So there's this weighted, heavy process on the inside and then the 10 of wands is coming in and saying, hey, listen, yeah, it's true. Let's relieve the weight for a little while. Let's tumble it around, shake it up, add some oxygen. I just love that this particular 10 of wands is up in the air, adding oxygen to what looks to me like a fire, something flaming. You know what else decomposes things pretty quickly? A fire. You know, I'm thinking about um, like burning cardboard or something like that, you know, like, okay, I've got, I've accumulated all of this cardboard rather than sending it to a landfill to slowly decompose, I'm gonna burn it. I'm gonna hasten this process a little bit. So it seems like cancer season is offering us an opportunity to hasten our processes of internal transformation by shaking it up, shaking it out, airing it out a little bit. Okay, let's pull some more cards, see if we can get a little more information here. Okay, so since we're talking about organic matter, I'm bringing out the lovely Botanica Tarot. And I wanna see how the plants, how plants are going to extrapolate this message for us here in cancer season. It's interesting because Gemini had a message 
carrying us out of spring, Gemini season, the end of spring. Cancer is carrying us into summer. And summer is sort of that season of movement. It is the season of shaking up, shaking off the cobwebs, getting up and out, moving around, getting fresh air. Okay. Tell us more about this process of hastening the decomposition, the transformation in cancer season. <laughs> These three cards go out all at once. Let's see what we've got. I like to rely on the guidebook here with this deck because um, I don't know all of the plants and all of the lore behind them. And um, Kevin J. Stanton, the author here, has done a great job of talking about that. Well, first of all, we've got the Ace of Wands. This is spring. This is the Maypole. Let's see, is it Hawthorn? Oh, I'm, I've turned right to it. It is. Hawthorn, the start of something new. A return of hope. All right. So here we've wrapped the maple. Isn't it also interesting, this, this ritual, this rite, the rite of spring, of dancing around the maple. And if you sort of flip that, you get this, which was the image I got in the beginning, that cancer symbol, shaking, turning, tumbling the compost. So there is something about just like circling around, airing something out, circulating in order to freshen the energy. You know, Ace of Wands, if you think about the Ace of Wands as like a flame being lit for the first time, it's the ignition of a flame. It's the start of something new, a spark of new energy, of new life, of new aliveness, which really actually feels like what these three cards could really use. It's like we could all use a nice dose of vitality, of feeling alive again. Okay. We've also got the Page of Cups again and the Five of Coins. So let's look into this a little deeper. Okay, I, I really like this because Hellebore is, is a deeply um, witchy type flower. It has darker associations. It says here, despite being highly toxic, these flowers were thought to be a cure for madness in ancient Greece. They have a reputation, there you go, for having dark magical properties and are sacred to goddess and goddesses and witches alike. And the Five of Pentacles can talk about struggle, a, a feeling of lack, a feeling of not having enough, of having gone through something intense, struggled through some hard times. So this feels certainly linked with this heaviness, this heavy energy of moving through dark times and, and having to release so much and, and having to transform and constantly doing this deep, like death, Plutonian work of just like eating away at the old self. And these cards are really longing to me for the new thing. They seem to be saying, okay, I've been in this process for so long. When does it get good? When do I start seeing new growth? Maybe we begin to see the whispers of new growth here this summer season if we allow ourselves to shake it up and get a little oxygen into the process. Okay, let's look at the, the page of cups in the Botanica. It's wild strawberry, beautiful. Here we are right in strawberry season, by the way, at least where I am in the Northeast. Yeah, this is lovely. Um, 
he's talking about the flowers symbolizing innocence and its fruit is the reward for righteousness and hard work. Um, yeah. And pages are newness, you know, they're, they're, it's like this young, new, fresh energy. And since these are both pages, it's almost reminding us that yes, things can be heavy and they can be hard and things can feel emotionally difficult to move through, but there is sweetness here also. There is delight. You know, I can't think of anything more like lighthearted, uplifting than strawberry picking. And then like, you know, I've been eating strawberry pie over here and it's just completely delightful. Like no matter what I'm going through or feeling, if I take a bite of strawberry pie, you can't not smile and feel this little sense of being uplifted. So it's almost as if the cards are reiterating, these botanical cards are reiterating the message that yes, things have been heavy. They've been difficult. It's been a struggle to move through this, but there's hope here. There is aliveness and renewal. I just saw 17, 17. It's beautiful. 17, the star card in the tarot, a card of faith and hope and guidance along the way. So absolutely. There is hope. There is new vitality if we would like to open to it. There's sweetness here also. Okay. Oh, interesting. I just realized the bottom of the deck here in the Marielle is the sun reversed. And if you think of summer season, you think of the sun. That's the first thing I think of, that's for sure. Oh, interesting. Eight of Wands underneath of that. The sun reversed is speaking to me of being in that darkness, of being in that, the heaviness, the weightedness, where it's difficult to access the sun. It's like, okay, yeah, it's summer season. The sun is out, but here I am in this internal heaviness. It also speaks to me of like the process of decomposition that's happening internally in that dark compost barrel away from the light of the sun, but generating so much internal heat. That's what this particular eight of wands is feeling like to me, you know, with this like sleeping person here under the cloak of darkness, doing all of this internal decomposition work. And here it's almost as if the sun here, we have that Leo lion energy. The sun is coming in and getting that, lifting that compost heap up off the ground for a moment. What did I write? Get it up off the ground for a while. Get it up this like sleeping internal composition, decomposition happening in the darkness. Let's lift it up and get it up off the ground for a while and get a little airflow underneath of there. Let's let it see and feel the warmth of, and, and the light of day for a little while. Mm. That's so beautiful. And there's such a, a nurturing, protective quality here of just like, I got you, I'm holding you, which feels so Cancerian to me. And so summer, I mean, this is Cancer's message for us, ushering us into the summer season. And here we've got even, you know, the next the next summer zodiacal energy, Leo coming through, peeking in. The sun is here to help lift that emotional, internal Cancerian energy up and give it a little bit of airflow. Bring it, wake it up again. The sun, that's what the sun does. It wakes everything up that has been asleep. Sunrise. Okay, we're gonna go to the Portable Fortitude deck here and see if we can get a card of protection for us here in Cancer season. That protective crab shell. A protective season as we begin to air things out here in Cancer season.
Interesting. I'm getting a funny story with this. It says protection from those who love you. And it looks like the story of Red, White, Red Riding Hood and the wolf in grandma's clothing. This is maybe a little graphic, the image that I'm getting here, but I'm getting um, when like, okay. You know how I was talking about this decomposition process happening on the inside and you don't really see the changes externally until significant change has happened on the inside and then the, the skin sinks or the outside transforms in some way. There's something happening here about like that wolf exterior, but there's something else happening inside because the wolf swallowed the what am I trying to say? There's so many layers to this. So the wolf swallowed the grandmother in the Little Red Riding Hood. So there's a grandmother inside, a wolf outside, but then the wolf puts on the grandmother's clothing. Okay, this is trippy and layered. What are we trying to get to here? And it's also interesting because there's this like, I don't even know what that is, this like layered blob here that seems to be reiterating some sort of message of like, there are many, 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 many layers to this. A grandma inside of a wolf dressed as a grandma. And then the, the hunter with the ax comes in and chops through all of those layers and airs out what has been inside, reveals what has been inside. I mean, all of these layers are just really speaking to me of that compost. The layers upon layers upon layers of like eggshells and leaves and coffee grinds and more leaves and some sawdust and just all those layers built up needing to be released, needing to be shaken out, aired out, cleaved through. It's interesting that we have this ax. It actually looks more like a key the key that opens some sort of door and shows us the insides of a situation. And then I'm thinking about like another way of um, airing out the compost is like a, a pitchfork, you know, just like stabbing a pitchfork into it and like airing it out that way. Okay, and the final thing I'm gonna show you is the bottom of the deck because it's protection from cynicism. Cancer energy is talking to us about this just like heavy dankness, that heavy, drawn, dank, melancholic, cynical, closed off, stagnant energy that comes when you've been struggling for just way too long. So much happening internally, but not really seeing evidence of it on the outside. There's an invitation here in this reading, I believe, for us in cancer season. The cards are inviting us up and out. Invite in new life, new vitality. Invite in the sun and sweetness. Let yourself be lifted up and breathe in some fresh air. And notice how much quicker that process is allowed to become. Okay, it's sort of like this. It's almost like I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do this. I know I have deep emotional work to do. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do this deep emotional work until I feel like I have moved all the way through my process of transformation. And cancer season is here to say, yes, great. There is this deep internal process of transformation, decomposition, it's deep, it is deep in there and an integral part of that transformation process is getting up and out, airing things out into the open and having a little fun, lightening it up. What if lightening up that heavy energy is just as transformative, is just as much of a, a, a vital part of your inner 
transformation as what we perceive to be as like the deep real work. What if lightening your load and lightening it up and going out and enjoying the sweetness of the summer sun is the deep work? Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Cancer season is inviting us to get out of our feels a little bit and to feel something a little lighter, a little more fun, sweet, easy. Air it out. Whew. Okay, my friend. Thanks for being here. Thank you for listening to the message cancer has for us as we move into the summer season. I wish you sunshine. I wish you dips in the river. I wish you fresh air. <laughs>